Okay, so once you're done dimensioning your um, first floor, okay, first floor beam and column layout. Once you're done dimensioning your first floor beam slab beam and column layout, as you can see it right here, we did this dimensioning in our previous video. Once you're done dimensioning this right now, the next thing we're going to do is to put this this drawing right now into sheet here. So to, to transfer this drawing right now into sheet. But before then, let us name this, let us rename this sheet to we rename this sheet right now to first floor beam and column layout. And column layout. Layout. Okay, so right now we just change this name to first floor beam and column layout. You can see right now. Okay, so right now we now click go back on model space right now. Now on this model space right now, you can see that we have successfully named our beam, which this this names are also on the beam sections as you can see it here. We also positions our slab telling our viewer that this is that that the slab that is here is 150 millimeter. So right now we have also dimensioned right here using this stone bridge company template thing, um AutoCAD template. If you want to get this stone bridge company template, I you say you should check on the link down below and download the link on the this this template down below which will be easy for you to lessen your work to around 80%. Okay so right now to add to transfer this right now to our paper space just here. So what we'll do right now from this model as we are, as we see here right now, you click on this paper space which we have just created, which is already created for this template. So this is why you need this template very good because everything here for you is already being created. So right now, the next thing right now we'll do right now is to create a dev point. So we want to create a, a so you to create a viewpoint using dev point layer. So go right now and click and find click on dev point, which is this dev point, and then we want to create a viewpoint so that we can bring out bring out this drawing into this place. You don't have to go and copy. If you copy this, it will not work. If you copy it like this now and then go here and go and paste it here, it will not work. And you can see that this K is far, far different. So this is not how to do it. I'll show you how to do it perfectly. So on this place right now, once you click on this model and go to paper space, right now you type MV, which is called viewpoint. Now click on this and then click on this first place here or one of this region right now, or you can just click here, click on this first point right now, and then click anywhere around or click on this last, this other point here. Now, right now, once you click right now, you can see what you have just um, gotten. You just got this right now. You can see this right now. So this is the viewport space right now. So right now, we now double click on this place just now. Now, once you click on this place right now, you can be able to zoom out anything that happens here. Before, it is just like this, that when you zoom, you zoom everything. But once you double click on this place, after creating this, your viewport, we have with type M MV. Okay. Now, once you double click on this viewport right now, the next thing to do right now is to begin to locate that point. So begin to locate where our drawing is. Once we have located this drawing right here just now, we just click outside. We are not yet done. Then you find this key that we are using. We, you are, if you type this key you're using, if you want to use a scale of 1 is to 100, you just put the scale right here. But for now, we want to use a scale of 1 is to 50. Let's see if this scale will be able to, to, to make this drawing here visible on this paper space. So just double click back on this place right now. Now, since we have already positioned this place, now when I use our scale to bring the drawing up outward to make it visible using the scale. So once you double click on this place, let me repeat that. Once you click on this place right now, the next thing you do is to type Z, which is for zoom, enter, and then type 1 all over 50, which is our scale, then we'll type SP and then press enter. You can see that the drawing is too big for 1 is to 50 because we are not seeing everything. So let us reduce the scale to 1 is to 75 and C. So we type again Z, enter, 1 all over 75 SP. 
then enter. Okay, so you can now see that we are still left with um, some things to do. You can see that right now. So we click back on empty space. Now you click again inside this place, double click inside this place after creating your MV port space. Double click on this place right now. Sorry. Once you're in there, to know that you're in there, we zoom your mouse button outward and inward. You can see that what is zooming is just the drawing inside and not this one. If you zoom here, you can see that everything is zooming. So once you once you double click inside here, you can and begin to zoom. You can see that what is zooming is just a drawing. So right now you cannot apply this this zoom command. So you say zoom is the Z enter. Then we, we, we want to use a scale of 1 is to 80. Let's see. Or 1 is to 80. Yes, 85. Let's see how it will look like. So 1 all over 85. SP. Then press enter. Then let's now begin to palm. We palm this right now to position it very well because the scale has already been there. So if you click outside right now, you, you can see that it is not everything that we are seeing because we are not seeing this grid these grid bobs at the at the last end here and even if we pump it downward here we will not still see it that clearer okay one is to 80 can be able to fit this yes so if we go right now and extend this our viewport space down to this place if we click this right now from this point and extend it down here can be able to see everything okay you can see it here right now so we we are now so right now if you double click again on this point right now you can see what is happening right here so if we click if we type z enter one all over 85 which is our scale then type sp then you press enter and see what is happening so you can now use palm p and press enter and palm put a position this your drawing without moving anything like zoom again so right now if you position this drawing right now on this place this is what we have just gotten you can see that everything is being seen so once you're done with that release your mouse button go outside here press escape first then go take your mouse button outside and double click outside here so you can now zoom right now. You can now see that all your drawing has been placed in on paper space. You can see that right now. So we don't need this line right here. So go back to our model view and just um, expand this line so that it will be off from our paper paper space. You can see what I'm doing. Just expand this and expand this upward, and then click on the escape and then go back to this place, and then we see what is happening here. So what is happening here is that we are not seeing this this numbering of this of this drawing you can see that this drawing has a name which is first floor beam and column layout so if we go to this place we, we are not able to see that name so we let's try and see if we can adjust the name and bring it closer move it closer to this place and check if we are able if we can see it right okay we are passing it just a little bit but not all let's see if we can adjust anything upward here okay let's see so if i double click on this place right now and use palm right now to palm this a bit upward escape and press outside there's nothing everything is still okay but this place it is still not showing well so what i'll do right now i'll go and reduce this this distance from this place on model space so i click on this place right now go back here and just go this place click this and then you stretch x s enter and then stretch this by only my auto then just bring this down a bit if you try to um, change the, the dimensions so i'll just um correct the ones that that was just disturbed okay it is okay right now so if i go back right to my model space right now i can be able to shift this upward to just close up this space so that this naming can come upward so i'll just double click right now here using pan enter and then move it upward a bit okay and then press escape and then click outside here okay 
you can we, we now have a space to to reduce to move this a bit so we can go right now okay and just move this a little bit um closer and then click back on the paper space so you can now see that everything is now showing perfectly you can see our dimension is being shown and everything is being shown so right now this scale right now remember we use a scale of 1 is to 85 so change this right now to 1 is to 85 so this is now 85 so the scale we're using right now is 1 is to 85 so you can just um change all that things here you can change the name that this like now my name is engineer justice so i'll just put justice here and then designed by engineer justice and drawn by it is still me that is running it justice so i'll just put here justice i see it right now and then click empty space and then you can change this place right now to your own company logo this sv means stone bridge the date the the month and the year so this month is the month of um july so month of july so i'll just put here 07 and then put here 20, 2022 okay building this bld means building and this str means structure so if you want you can change it or leave it so this I'll, I'll just put here july july 2022 sorry okay this case already there the sheet i will not number it now until i am done with all my structural detailing then from there i cannot number my um sheets one after the other this ref we are still in revision zero because this is the first drawing ever so this is will be called revision zero and this place you just change the drawing title here which is first floor beam slab beam and column layout so i'll change this right now to um first floor first floor beam slab sorry comma beam and column layout layout now i will now click on outside and then move this test backward because it's already coming out in this place and move it backward and if at all the your, your the name of the of the drawing is too long so you or the title of the drawing is too long you can just move this a bit upward and then have another uh, name along just down below here but for this right now for this case this is okay so i'll just position this at the middle as it is here okay so right now again here you have a space to put check by it so as we know that every drawing must be checked by by a, by a senior engineer so on this place i want my checker who has the, an engineer who has already been checking my drawing as engineer peter i'll just put that peter and then you also have a space of the approver so this is also another superior like a lead so and my lead is engineer ola so i'll just put engineer ola here ola and then you can see that i've successfully feed up all this place and then right here you can change your company logo and just remove this and paste your company logo but for now i'll just use use this use this stone bridge as it is here now i will not have to change this um project title this project is a two-story residential building so i'll just come back here and change this place from office development to a proposed i'll just put here proposed residential 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 dev, dev, development for mr so you just put the client's name here so our, this drawing is being done for mr emmanuel so i put emmanuel okay mr okay, mr emmanuel as you see here then now i'll also go again right now at this place is the location so you put the the location if maybe in, in my own case this building is done and um, is located in maryland so i'll just put here maryland put here maryland sorry maryland and then at where i'll just say canada i'll just put here 
Canada. Sorry, Canada. Okay, so you can see how to edit this place area. Then also you put here the same thing, Emmanuel. Okay. Okay, so you can now see what we have just got to So this is how to um, um, bring your drawing to paper space. You can see how we brought this drawing right now to our paper space just here. So this is how to bring drawing to a paper space. So we have successfully brought the first floor, this, this drawing detail to paper space. Now, if you do any changes on this place right now, it will show automatically on this paper space. Okay, let me just do a changes right now by numbering this, this column on this place just here. So if I number this column right, let me just copy this one right now and say I want to number this column as C1. So let me just change this right now to C1 and then bring it to this place. You will see that these changes we made right now will be affected automatically on paper space here. So you can see it right here as C1 and also on this model space as C1. So you can see that any changes you 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 make here will be automatically be be seen on this place. So for but, but for now we have not yet numbered our column so just remove this right now. Okay, so right now, this is how to um, put your drawing in on your paper space. Okay, so, so we have come to the end of this video. So in my next video right now, we will also put these bin details on paper space right here, which you will have to create another paper space just here. So in my next video, we will put this, these bin details of this first floor bin and column layout on on paper space. Okay, so thank you. And this has come for the end of this lesson. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel Ekidel. Also follow us at Instagram at Ekidel. Also follow us at Facebook at Ekidel. And also follow us at Twitter at Ekidel so that you don't miss any of our video or any of our video or information which we are going to pass across. And also, if you want to buy these templates, Stonebridge Company, Sotra detailing templates, which I would say you should buy, I would just recommend it. You just check on the link down below and get it for just $5. And I will uh, tell you it will reduce the stress of your work to around 80%. Okay, so thank you. And then let us go for the next video.